Kick and spray glue it on. Now this section, I'm going to start putting these screws back in to where the assist straps go because after we put the headliner around that, the doorpost area, it'll be a lot easier for us to find where those holes are uh, when we're done. Okay, so the next section we're definitely going to need the spray adhesive glue, the putty blade, the scissors, the X-Acto knife, and a rubber mallet. Make sure the mallet is wrapped in plastic or something clean. Like I said, you want to open up those grippers so they're nice and even so you can slip that wind lace in. You can get in there with a nice thick screwdriver and just kind of turn the screwdriver to, to bend them out. There we are, door post area, number one. Door post. There you go, on the diagram, if you have that handy. Now here's your wind lace. And basically, this plastic white strip is going to be going into the grippers. This is the first thing that gets in. Usually those wind laces, it doesn't matter which side it goes on. And you're going to want to pop that into the teeth there. Just tuck it in by hand at first. Get it all set up. Take your time. Make sure your hands are clean at this point. Because now you're touching mohair. And if you've been using the, you know, any of your other tools, if they're dirty, you know, you don't want this to get dirty. So, and up top, you want the wind lace to be up to the top. So it's nice and even. And you'll see, once you put it in towards the bottom, you want to make sure that wind lace is in evenly. So before you punch the grippers down, you want to be able to uh, have that free to move up and down. So it's centered. Again, just tuck it in. Take your time. Those small areas where the headline is still kind of popping out by the wind lace, you can stuff those in with the... Uh, that putty blade that I always use. Okay, now you notice here that plastic strip has to be beyond and inside those grippers. And make sure it's, you know, tightly in there. If it's not in there all the way, it's not going to close right. And you just basically get the rubber mallet and I'm and start hammering them down. Take your time. Make sure, like I said, a plastic bag is around it, but you don't want that rubber mallet to dirty up the headliner. Now, once you bang those down, you can take a tug on the headliner on the post and make sure it's in there all the way. Make sure to get that plastic strip inside those teeth. You want to make sure that's clear and in there. You don't want it sticking out because then it's going to look funny. Now we're going to start gluing the post. You're basically going to want to you hit the inside of the, 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 the material and then you want to hit the window area. And what's, what it's going to do is you don't glue it right away, it goes dry on dry. So once you spray it, spray it thoroughly, wait for it to dry, and then apply it. Okay. So now I'm spraying on the metal of the actual car. You don't spray on the foam, you spray on the metal. Dry on dry, but it's set up to get tacky and then just press onto the actual car, not the foam. Just start working it little by little. You want to start in that center section first. Then start working your way up. And make sure when you put your foam down on that pillar that you did not cover the lip on the window area. That has to be free for the headliner to glue to.
Just keep working your way down. Pull out the wrinkles. Now, if you're using a vinyl material, at this point you're going to be needing a hair dryer to hair dry that to soften it up. And you'll most likely have to use more of a contact cement with the brush than the uh, than using spray adhesive. You can use spray adhesive; it's probably not as bad, but you know it's probably a little bit better with the contact cement. Now, as you're doing going up these pillars and whatnot you need to make some relief cuts so in this corner section is always a common area that needs a relief cut just be careful do not cut too far into the headliner area because then you're going to be showing a rip it's also good when you were spraying the glue um, to spray on the outside of the window as well so when you wrap the headliner around it's ready to be glued to the outside I'll show you that in a minute. Just start working your way up, get the wrinkles out. Same with the bottom. Just pull it and you'll see that the wrinkles will come out. It's a lot easier working with this mohair material to get those wrinkles out. Vinyl is much more difficult. You're just going to have to hair dry it until it gets nice and soft and then pull. And again, you have time to glue. It's not like you're in a rush to glue. It, it can you can stay tacky for a long time and it'll still glue. This area down here is always a, a tough area. I always like to tuck it under to try to get as much of the wrinkles out as I can. It's 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 tough. You got to be careful here, too. If if you do a relief cut, you don't want to cut too far in because then you'll see where the rip is. So you want to make sure. I just tuck it under and kind of stretch, pull it, so it's nice and tight and, and glue it down. Same over here, you're going to need a relief cut in the corners. It's usually where it gets all rounded out in the window areas where it's going to need a relief cut. I can just cut that straight down. You can make a few more. I tell you, it helps getting the, you know, the wrinkles out. The top area, this is not too much of a concern because you're really not going to see this part. Um, you could probably even cut it to a degree because you're going to have a, a fold and a tuck over here at one point. I'll show you that later. But for, for now you can just glue it up there. Now here's the outside window area that you, you're going to have to glue that the headliner will get wrapped around to. Um, you could also do that beforehand as well so when you're pulling it from the inside it'll get nice and tight and you can glue it to that outside portion again let it set up and get dry now it's dry and then you pull it you're going to have to go in on the inside of the car at this point um, just to make sure you're not that you get the wrinkles out and you just got to keep working it And then at this point you can cut off the excess if you'd like once it's all set up and you're happy with your results make sure your blades are sharp or sometimes blades get dull pretty quickly you want to get a bunch of those you buy a pack of a hundred I think from Home Depot Right, so what you see here is a rubber cement remover, a contact cement remover, or even a spray glue uh, remover. If you get the glue on your car uh, after you're spraying it or it goes through the windows and lands on the car, this eraser will actually take the glue off and without, uh, without any crumbs or even scratching the body of the car. Get it at an arts and craft shop. It's really good stuff. Now here's a section you don't necessarily have to cut. <clears throat> I'm just cutting it because... Uh, I just like to be neat and tidy. That's just the way I am. Um, but basically, uh, this is uh, not necessary. But because the door panel will actually cover this, and um, you don't even really see that anyway. But 
Alright, so there's a few wrinkles here and there. Uh, you can keep working this. You can actually pull it off and then re-glue it. That's what's good about this stuff. Uh, spray glue is great for that. And now we're on to the uh, back window, the around the rear window. Now TMI will give you a section uh, basically for the top portion and the sides of the rear window. Some other companies will give you one big square and you will basically, basically uh, install it like we installed the padding uh, with one big square section and just cut out the center. Uh, but for this headliner we're going to be doing uh, the top portion and the sides and then I'll show you what we do for the bottom section. So just get your spray glue and uh, I pretty much mask, mask off the top first and spray that and then we spray the material because you got to remember it goes dry on dry and you want both sections glued so I usually start from the center and work my way out and I basically did a dry run of it before I did this so you kind of measure the you know uh, the distance and the length from each side to each side rather you want to you don't want to be short on one side but they give you pretty much uh, a, a good amount of material to work with so and basically just you know massage it with your hand and uh, that top portion make sure it's uh, the headliner is glued down around that lip area same with the bottom and like I said it's you know you can pull it up and then just massage it back down if you see any wrinkles that's what's great about spray glue uh, the, the glue is sufficient enough to you know you can pull it off and then re and just reapply it okay so so you want to glue it up to that lip area and anyway, what I did is is I glued it around the top portion of the lip so it would basically you don't see it but you glue up and over it now for the side portion start tucking it into the grippers on the side there you might want to use that putty blade and just start tucking it in there later on we'll cut off the excess as you can see here, you just want to keep tucking it into those side grippers. And just keep working your way around. Now you start going into the window area. And glue to that lip that's inside there. That is around the window opening. Okay, just keep massaging. If you see any wrinkles, pull it up and tighten it again. too bad and what I'm doing here is of course with you know with my exacto knife just cutting off the excess that was tucked into the grippers there if some places are stubborn just get the putty blade again and, and tuck it back in those grippers will eventually be hammered down to hold the, uh, the str uh, a strip later on and make sure then to also use that putty blade to tuck above the back window section you'll see in a second I'm gonna tuck that back portion in there there you go just like that and make sure like I said you glue up there too same deal here the carpet will go up and over this section and tuck into there so you kinda wanna cut off this excess piece right here Okay and again the putty blade and tuck it back in. Now here we're going to cut off the uh, around the window opening. Just give yourself a good half inch or even more if you want it just to be safe um, because you're going to want that extra half inch to wrap around to the outside of the car on, and glue to the lip. So you don't want to cut it along the body. You want to give yourself some room. 
you see I got like a good half inch to an inch of material hanging off okay so just gently go down make sure again you have a sharp blade because this should be able to the blade should be able to cut right through if it's having difficult a, a difficult time trying to cut then uh, you, you could tear the headliner there's that half inch to an inch of extra material left over make some of those relief cuts around the corners because you're going to need to you know pull it over and glue it you can use a scissor as well for this part Okay, so you get your spray adhesive, and like I said, make sure you get the right one with the correct nozzle. If you get the one with the standard nozzle, you wind up spraying the car uh, along the body, and it would be a lot of work for you to then take that stuff off. Another way to take the glue off the body is you could actually use WD-40 on a rag, and it'll come off as well. But um, save you some time, just get the right nozzle. So again, dry on dry let it set up and get tacky and then she should glue just fine some people use like uh, clothes pins here or clips to hold the headliner in place um, sometimes I do that but I mean you don't necessarily have to as long as the glue is set up correctly and is tacky enough you should be alright I never really had to uh, put clips down to hold it glue is strong enough just use your fingers and pull it nice and tight just keep massaging it and she'll look alright then you can cut off the excess again with the your exacto Sometimes you might even want to go in back inside the car and uh, glue this portion so you can see how it looks from the inside. And there you go.